So in our previous video already we have discussed about your platform level security and here we are going to focus one of the part of your platform security that is your operation management suite called as OMS. Now what is the feature of your OMS? Very first it is again to provide you the protection as well as it is used for analyzing data as well as it take care of your data backup and the recovery. So let us start with your OMS and see the features of your OMS. Very first, as I said, it provides you an analytics and insight reports. Again, if I talk about your analytics, it quickly diagnoses the root cause of the particular or full stock or any kind of modern applications you are using or any infrastructure if you are using. So it will directly provide the root cause of that particular error or any of your particular system got crashed. It again provides you a monitoring and alerting in a may of a particular metric so that you can easily analyze the reports you can easily see where the error is as well as it provides you a kpi into your real time and identifying the problems same way it also provides you to collect process and analyze a petabytes of data so if you have a huge amount of data it can again use your analytic reports for those kind of data which you have stored same way it will also integrate with the different particular services which you have along with that it also has the extent of your value using your existing monitoring tools which you use on your regular basis along with that it also provides you a protection and recovery so as i said it also works on your backup so here it will provide you protection of your cloud assets so you have different cloud assets like you have created your any virtual machines, uh, switches, virtual network. So this kind of things you can use. And this kind of assets can be backed up easily. You can back up for your IIS called as infrastructure as a service. You can back up for your SQL databases you have created and also your PAAS called as platform as a service. It also provides you an enhanced capacity planning where you can plan which particular analyze or you know which particular resources you need to analyze when to back up for these resources and when you want to generate the report along with that you can also provide with your monitoring logs analytics reports to any of your users whenever required so it will automatically send you a notification that anything is getting changed or if any particular critical error is getting formed so here again it provides you an enterprise recovery of your Linux distributors, SQL, encryption at your REST APIs you have created. Along with that, it also provides you a faster, cheaper and compatible backup storages. The storages can be a DDoP, that is duplications generally we have, KCool and REFS file systems. Along with that, it provides you a centralized hybrid backup. So as we know, we generally use hybrid cloud environment nowadays so that we get possibilities of accessing all the particular resources of your cloud using your private cloud as well. Along with that, we can also ensure that our data or our sensitive data is protected. By using this, we can also centralize control your backup monitoring, your reporting into your Azure. Along with that, we also provide a workload performance for your public, private and your hybrid cloud and you have an enterprise grade VMware backup in this particular Azure. So if you have created any virtual machines or if you have created any of your infrastructure or any subnet, you can easily backup and analyze reports for this particular operation suit. Same way you also have an automation and control. So as discussed into our previous slide, we can also automate the notifications if any changes occurs into your platform or where you have enabled this particular service. Now, for example, you have taken the backup on last Saturday and again you have scheduled the backup on this particular Saturday. It will notify the user or the administrator that this is going to get the backup at this particular time. So it will remind you for the backup. Same way it will trigger immediate action in response to issues if you have any particular issues into your system or into your backup. Like for example, 
if you have scheduled a backup and suddenly there is a crash into your system or there is no backup has occurred properly it will provide this particular notification to the administrator saying that this particular thing has not been happened correctly or happened successfully so there is an error into it it can be either your automated where we generally need to define the automatic reporting of this or we can even manually report this so which is called as on-demand reporting so whenever you want to get the reports you can demand to your azure to your operation suite manager to get the reports you can easily get the report and analyze it same way you have the maintain the set of your it resources if you have so you can also create your uh, you know set of IP reports where generally you have number of resources created in which region it keeps logs of it along with that it also resolves the configuration which you haven't configured correctly also it provides you an IT to keep the system updated with your minimal bound down time so it creates a redundant servers or backup servers which will be helping us if any of our servers goes down automatically a healthy server will be taking in place and it will provide or deploy our services and continue it so we have very low downtime over here next time if you again talk about your track and manage changes with the ease so you can easily track the changes which is to manage as well as it also see which kind of changes has been done we can track it and we can manage it accordingly like if again we have created a backup and it is not done properly because of such issues we can resolve and continue for the same so this is what exactly we have seen about your operation management suit and the automation control Next, we are going to talk about the security and the compliance of your OMS. Now, as a, we are providing a security, so this security is not like that. We are going to do something physically. We are not going to keep a watchman over here. We are going to do is we are going to provide the security virtually into our backend. So it provides you a collection of security data virtually from any sources. If you have different you know devices or resources connected virtually it will connect all the resources all the users and then it will provide security to it it also provides you insight into your security status like if suppose you have some anti malware or any malware or any of your you know interviewers attacking to your system or trying to attack your system it will automate your anti malware any other software updates so that you can protect it from the viruses or the interviewers who are attaching to you same way it also provides you to detect malicious activities it's if it is happening like if some particular you know program is trying to move into our virtual machines or the infrastructures or any unauthorized users is trying to access to your system it will again detect these activities and search for the rapid investigation from where this particular authentication or from the where this query and this anonymous users are getting access to our system after that it will create a report and then also find for the security which we can provide to you again it provide you an integrational operation and a security management so this integration operation with security management is just enabled once you have enabled the service of your OMS securities. Along with that, it also provides a threat detections using different analytics. So you can also define or also took for the threats which is attacking to your system by using your OMS. So in short, here Azure provides you the security where you provide your log analytics your automations, backup, and your site recovery. So this is all about your OMS. Into our next video, I'm coming up with more security that is your network security.